to be that HF radios were really the only way to stay in touch from remote areas. And HF radios are still very popular. But these days satellite phones are really making it easy for just about anybody to keep in touch with the rest of the world from just about anywhere else. Satellite phones work much like mobile phones, but instead of having a network of towers like we have on the ground, there's a network of satellites around the world. Satellite networks like Iridium cover the entire planet with satellites, so as long as you've got a clear view of the sky anywhere on the planet and a satellite phone, you're in touch with the rest of the world. Being able to make and receive phone calls from anywhere on Earth is a huge convenience. But more importantly, it's a potential lifesaver. If you're in a car accident, you have a breakdown, or worse still, there's a medical emergency or a snake bite, being able to call for help could be in the difference of someone's life. When you make a call on a sat phone, the signal goes up into space to the nearest satellite orbiting the Earth. It's then relayed around the globe via the other satellites and down to Iridium headquarters in the USA, where it's patched into the regular phone system and then travels back around the world in cables under the sea to the person you're speaking to. Happy birthday! Because the signal travels so far, you'll notice a slight <laughs> delay when talking to someone, but you soon get used to that. It's, it's a bit funny, isn't it, talking on these things? It's also worth remembering that you're effectively calling from America when you make a sat phone call, so you need to include international dialing codes in your numbers. Emergency numbers like 000 won't work either, so before you go bush, program in and test the phone numbers of the people you plan to call, and also include the number of the flying doctors and any other emergency services you're likely to need if you get in trouble. Buying a satellite phone is a significant investment, but if you're travelling around Australia for a year or more, then it's probably worth the expense for the peace of mind. At the end of the day, you can always sell it when you get back and you'll probably get most of your money back. For shorter trips, your best option is going to be to rent a phone. Companies like Tech Rentals have a national service, so you can hire a phone, pick it up and drop it off from any of their points around the country. If you're travelling in a group, well, you'll probably only need one phone and you can share the cost. So having a satellite phone is fantastic insurance. It's also a good way to stay in touch. 